Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildberry Island Vlogmas Celebration Day 5! I am so proud! Day 5 means that we're already a fifth of the way through the amazing Vlogmas adventures that were going on and I have to say I'm actually feeling pretty proud about being able to have gotten this far! Yay! It's a lot of work to be able to run around Wildberry every day but oh my gosh it's been so much fun! I can't believe we've been able to like update the island so much already and we've discovered so many new recipes and I got Sheldon's picture a second time like I guess Sheldon is just like our best best friend in fact I guess we can say we're best friends if you get one picture from a villager and maybe your best best friends if you get two and I wonder if you can get more of their photos because that would be really exciting and then you could say you're like best 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 friends or best 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 friends depending on how many pictures of Cranston you want and I want all of them trust me but all right guys so today here on Wildberry, instead of going to work with Lottie, even though I really wanted to, I think it's finally time to clean up this island! Ugh, I know that it's still autumnal, but any minute now, I know that snow is going to start falling. We'll have our very first snow ever on Wildberry, which will be so exciting to see. And we are also going to want to be prepared for all of the winter shenanigans we're going to be putting up. Like some really adorable reefs! I can't wait to show you guys the really cool QR codes I found for reefs that you can actually, like, customize onto these amazing lanterns. It's gonna be really cute. We're gonna definitely deck out the island but when I was running around and thinking about it our island is still is this an apple see I just have random apples lying all over the place and there's just a lot of work that we could kind of do because there's a whole bunch of things that need cleaned up. I know that over by Audie's house we actually need to clean up all of the things from trying to make a pumpkin carving patch and then I've been meaning to move around some of the flowers that are clustered around Skye's house for a while. <gasps> Which reminds me, I've actually been meaning to move Skye's entire house for a long time now! Okay, so yeah, we have a lot of things we can potentially do. But don't worry, we're not going to clean up these turnips. These, these are, this is literally a bug that's also a feature. Don't worry, it's not a bug. Well, it is a bug, but it's also a feature. Having spoiled turnips in order to go ahead and, you know, let Cranston have his ants. Yeah, those guys stay. But all right, so with that said, we're gonna try to clean out some of the stuff in my pockets. Oh, and I, I can't remember if I got this today or yesterday from the Nooklings, but look at this! Isn't this so freaking cute? It's a kid's chain! I love it! I know a lot of people have been using this for like ever, but I have never seen this, so I am ridiculously tickled at how cute it is. And I kind of want to set up like a cute little itty bitty campsite, like a mini campsite, a glamp site, where you can go ahead and you could go glamping with all of the other villagers and just relax and kind of have a glorious like afternoon camping session or maybe a reading session. Oh, this thing's so freaking cute. I love it. But all right, so let's see. We need to clean out my pockets. Oh, and I picked up some seafood pizza from Cotton's house to, or from Cotton's house, huh? From his island today. There we go. Yay! And now I can make seafood pizza over at Cranston's place, and we could have a pizza party if we wanted to. Let's see, tiger prawns. Okay, I don't actually even know. Have I ever caught a tiger prawn? I'm sort of stunned because it's like, wait a second, wait a second. I don't know if I've actually ever caught one. There's a blowfish. I think tiger prawns would be like deep sea, right? Oh, I have! Oh my goodness! Oh, wow! Okay, seafood pizza is not something you can make right now. Uh, no tiger prawns would be harmed in the making of my pizza, but it is only a June through September thing. Got it. All right, well, we're not gonna be catching that guy, but we are gonna be cleaning up the island and trying to make it look a lot nicer today. So with that said, we're going to be putting away my Vlogmas outfit, and let's go ahead and get out Garden Gal for a little bit. Because we've got a whole bunch of holly to put up. All right, so. Knowing that we're about to have like a bunch of really beautiful winter snowy days ahead of us, I want to make sure we have lots of holly sprinkled around the place to kind of just bring an extra little leafy vibe to our wild wonders. So I think I'm going to put a holly bush over here. Yeah, let's put a few of them tucked up into the background. I've been dragging these holly bushes back home from Cotton's place. And then let's do another one right here. There we go. 
They look a little out of place right now, but we are preparing for winter. And the day we have our first snow and wild berry, I'm gonna be just so freaking tickled. It's gonna be awesome. All right, we'll put another one right there. Yeah, this is good. And then we can probably, oh, hey. All right. Let's go ahead and gather ourselves up this here fossil. We can take it over to Blathers. Very nice, very nice. And then for back here, I kind of want to turn this section into just a section that has like the rare mums, the green mums, and the and maybe some purple mums that are kind of breeding. Um, and I don't think we need this apple tree right here. So, alrighty, let's go ahead. We're going to move this here apple tree. We've got plenty of fruit trees on the island. So clearing out a few trees is not going to do us any harm. Whoops. Alright, actually... Instead of eating the raw apples, I should go ahead and we should actually, like, make these apples. Alright. Here, we're gonna go ahead and let's remove... I feel like let's remove laughter because I'm having all of these great ideas today. Oh, and maybe we can do inspiration. That would be really cute. Okay, that one's pretty adorable. Alright, idea! <laughs> let's go make ourselves a meal real quick so that I can go ahead and move more things at once. And, by the way, one of the big projects I want to work on is making a Christmas tree farm out of these pine trees! I want to be able to do that somewhere closer to our villagers so that it can look absolutely precious. But we're going to need to get a little bit closer to them to do that. Alright, do I have anything like apple pie I can make yet? We do have an orange, like, tart marmalade thing. Uh, but, let's see, sweets... <gasps> Orange pound cake. Oh, I would love to eat that. But it doesn't look like we have anything sweet-wise to do with apples. But we do have the ability to make a couple apple smoothies real fast. So cute! Alright, we'll grab this. There. Ta-da! Much better! Alright, and now if I go ahead and I eat, drink this apple smoothie, I should say. We end up with two! There we go! I guess it equates to exactly as much as it was when we were just getting the, like, apples. Because, you know, it took four apples, gave us two... Ah, man. It gave us back two energy. But it's more fun to, like, immerse yourself in a delicious apple smoothie. Alright, so let's have Garden Gal clean up this here section. We're going to be moving over some bamboo, clearing out the weeds, getting rid of all of the lower tier flowers. Well, I guess it's unfair to rank flowers. That's rude of me. We're going to be removing some of the more common flowers, like these yellow mums. Very beautiful. But I want this area to really be filled with tons of the green mums, because I consider them to be one of our wild berry specials. Purple hyacinths and green mums. That's what wild berry is all about. Whoops. Well, speaking of green mums, I have one in my pocket now. That's fine. Alright. Come on, garden gal. And I wonder if I should put... I'm kind of tempted to put one of our holly bushes over here. But I really do want to kind of give a uh, bamboo grove vibe to this section. And maybe put in oh, some of the mossy like things that we're getting. I can't put down the mossy rug, but rumor has it, friends. Rumor has it that there are even more mossy discoveries to make on those amazing vine islands that Kappa takes us to. And that one day I might find more mossy creations that we could put out here. And I do want to put more vines over here too. Alright. Oh, look at how much tinier that is already. I love it. And then do I want to move this tree as well? Maybe? I'll leave him be for now. Alright. Well, Garden Gal's work is not done. We've got some more wonderful holly bushes I want to sprinkle around the island. Like another one right here. And I actually kind of want to put another one like right over here, but this peach tree is in the way. So I think I might scooch the peach tree over. Actually, now that I think about it, this is where I want to move uh, Sky's house. Oh, hey! Gladys! Stretch! Fish aren't, er, uh, fish aren't biting. I have to figure out her voice. I feel like you're staring at me and it's making me nervous. Hmm. Gotta work on her voice. I'm gonna be listening to some accents to figure it out. 
All right, so let's see. I do want to move Sky's house over here so we can have like a cute little um, library in this section. And Sky can be close to the town hall so that that way she can like contribute to town hall. And I thought having the library close-ish to the museum would be a cute idea. So where would I want to put her house exactly? Like right where mine used to be? That's an idea! We could put her house where mine used to be and then just have like a beautiful garden and a cute little field of uh, like books. <laughs> <laughs> a field of books like what the heck Siri okay well let's keep going oh haha garden gal needs to go ahead and exchange oh, oh. all my pockets are full wait 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 I can swap it because literally I wanted to ex no you can't go ahead and put holly bushes down oh fine all right well let's get moving guys my pockets are full of stuff I'll give them as gifts to the villagers if I stumble on them I feel so good actually just like tackling cleaning on the island so that we can prep ourselves for a beautiful winter ahead. <gasps> Look at this! What a cute little stove! Oh my goodness! I love it! And I actually love this lamp and I love this donkey! Oh, look, and there's even a cute little meal over here. Oh, this is wonderful. I want to set up so many places where the different Wildberry citizens can have some delicious meals. Boys, you're really shocking me today. All right, let's go ahead and sell. Let's do all of these, mums. And we'll go ahead and do the hardwood tree. I still need to give the train set away. Oh, and the glowing moss flooring. I can't remember who gave that to me, but it was like a special gift from one of the villagers. Let's see, holly bush, clumps of weeds. I've got tons and tons of flowers. Oh, and maybe I'll just give the green mom as a gift to one of the villagers. Who I already have like the picture of. Oh, that's not a lot, but that's okay, boys. Selling you some flowers from my flower fields. All right, and then what do we have in the cabinet today, wall-wise? Hmm, that blue diner wall is kind of cute. I'm pretty sure I have the green painted wood wall. Let me actually check in my little catalog because, let's see. I, I wish we didn't have to spend so much time buying the walls, but I feel like it's a good move. Ooh, ooh, I have the arched window wall. <gasps> that looks so cool. I've been getting more window walls lately. Green flower print, green blossoming wall, green intricate. Yes, we have indeed had the green painted wood wall. All right, I think we've got actually enough selection at the moment. So, boys, this is so cute. Yes, the compact kitchen. I could put that all over the island to make it easier to cook with. It's so adorable. I love it. And then what do we have right here? The shaded floor lamp. I bet that could go in lots of different colors. Thank you, thank you. All right, and then what do we have over here? <laughs> Let's see, I don't have enough money for that little TV, but I'm glad to know it exists. It might be something I'd consider in the future, especially if you can customize the screen. <gasps> then we could do something really cute, like have a screen from one of our other series. That would be adorable. And then this guy, the puppy plushie. Yes, I saw it for the first time when we were helping out Vesta, and so now we have a puppy plushie ourselves. Yay! Oh, and I almost forgot. A western style meal, eh? That's a lot healthier than any of the meals I usually have found here in the west. All right, so that's a huge like meal set and it is not edible. So that's actually one that's decorative. So I'll give that as a gift to one of the villagers. Bye boys. Okay, so we still have a couple more holly bushes to put down. I want to be mindful of that. And then we've got more stuff to tidy up over here, including, oh, hey, Adi! This is the section I actually want to transform into a uh, ice rink for her. So I, I want to make it so that this is actually an ice rink for Adi in the future, which means time to pick up these pumpkins and actually time to clear out a whole bunch of these flowers too. Adi, you're doing a great job. Good morning, Foxtrot. Sometimes when I can't wake up in the morning, I run in circles and scream really loud for a few minutes. Okay, that would be a great way to wake up, actually. Hey, it's super great to see you. What do you need? All right, let's give you a gift. And Adi, let's see. So what should I give you? Hmm. 
Shaded Floor Lamp, Train Set, Puppy Plushie, Apple Smoothie. I want her... Let's give her this bird wing. It's really pretty. And I think it's worth a lot, so she'll be happy. Yay! Isn't it cute? Oh, there you go. I don't. I wonder if I have an, a lively plaid dress. Thank you, Audie. Slowly but surely, we shall build up our friendship. All right. And then let's go ahead and place that down. That is a very lively plaid dress. Thank you very much. I think I actually might give it to Shelly because that looks like it'd be good for her. All right. The gardener gal is going to go ahead and clean up this corner as well. We could go all over the island in search of things that need tidied up and removed. However, I'm pretty sure that, like, Audie's place is kind of, like, obvious. Oh my gosh, look at all these weeds! What the heck? Okay, look, I enjoy having some weeds because they look really adorable. But even I will admit that our beach has become a little bit overgrown and this might be slightly concerning. But at the same time, it's kind of nice because, ah... I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I leave the weeds on the beach or should I be picking them up? Because on the one hand, the seashells can still get here. And on the other hand, okay, maybe we'll thin some of them. Because this is a little bit messy, but I don't know, like, what else would I put on the beach if we were actually going to decorate it? Maybe we could have some sort of cute little market of some type? Okay, I've got to think about it, but there's definitely too many. And I would never say that about any kind of plants. All right, so let's clear this out of the way. Oh my word. Do weeds like make other weeds grow if you don't pluck them after a while? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, this is a little excessive, even for, for my plant loving self. Oh my word, all right. I, I think we planted just like a handful of them way back on the other side of the beach and then they just spread. I mean, that's really good for the seeds, don't get me wrong. But I think it'll be good if we tidy this up a little bit. There we go. Also, I thought I heard a balloon. <gasps> I did hear a balloon! Alright, let's get it. Octavian's Bane? To me! That even looks like Octavian's head. Ah. I miss our old man. Let's go check on him in a minute. Alright, what do we have in here? An elephant slide? Oh, okay, I don't know who I would give that to, but that's really freaking cute. It doesn't really fit our island because we don't really have like a playground sort of section. But I might give it maybe to Cranston. Maybe he would enjoy an elephant slide. All right, we'll tidy that up. Oh, Adi! She has disappeared on us. I, th I think that's okay. All right, there we go. So, clearing this area out a little bit. Do I have any more space? I have room for one more bush. Which bushes are these? So these are my beloved precious hibiscus bushes. <laughs> so I really hesitate to like get rid of them. However, I just have to have faith that when the time comes, we will have more plants in the future. And for now, I need to be a little bit selective about what variety of plants we're trying to have. All right, so let's tidy all this up. Oh, and I should put over one of all oh, you guys. I just had an epiphany. We should go ahead and we should have a second stand next to the nooklings for storing things in. And we should put it right next to the mailbox little post office we've made too. Because then I'll never have to run back and forth to my house like from the nooklings when I've got new stuff. Oh, all right. That's going to be our next project. All right, boys. It pains me a little bit to part with this hibiscus, but I know you guys will treat it well. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of all these two. I'll sell the wasp nest. You know what, I'll sell the lively plaid dress for now. Um, I should probably get the, I wanna keep all the spooky stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the elephant slide. It's adorable. Now I've had it in my inventory, so we can order it again from the boys. Thank you very much, boys. However, it's good to go ahead and you know, if I'm gonna give Cranston anything, I know that he would prefer a bug over an elephant slide. So let's be real. All right. Yay! And I have enough room to put away these things too! All right, we'll grab the last of the mushrooms. And these roses, by the way, are super special because they actually belong to our wonderful Urbosa. Did I just say Urbosa? Oh dear. I am in Ursula, not Urbosa. 
It would shock me and actually be kind of amazing if Urbosa from like the Zelda series could come and be a villager. I actually think that would be amazing. I don't even know what type of like animal she would be. Um, and it'd be really cool if they did another like Zelda crossover with Animal Crossing. I'm totally behind that. However, it wasn't Urbosa, it was Ursula, one of our starter villagers who planted this rose garden herself right here. And I've been thinking maybe we'll go ahead and move the roses into a special spot or like keep them as a special garden somewhere around here. And we can really designate it as like Urbo or <laughs> Ursula, not Urbosa, Siri for crying out loud, <laughs> as Ursula's garden. So I've been thinking about doing that with that too. All right, let's move this. We'll move this. I'll have to think about what to do with my pumpkins. I don't like to get rid of any of the gardening because it's really fun to have just some random gardens about, but I wonder if there's a better plant we could put over here. Like, I like my villagers having a bunch of random little gardens. I've got to think about that. All right. And since today is a cleanup day, let's go ahead and tidy up this spot even though it means having to put on our little different hat. Ta-da! And then we're gonna put in some grass. <sighs> tidy, tidy, tidy. Oh, I'm so happy. I can't believe we've cleaned up so much today, friends. <laughs> Truly, I can't. Normally, we can't get things done in Wildberry, but the villagers, I think they're busy with something today. Here, I'm gonna keep this hat on just in case we need it. And meanwhile, I think I can come in. All right, where are my tools? There they are. And we can go ahead and remove a few more of these spots. Phew. All right. And then the last big project that I would definitely want to do before the end of the day is to actually go ahead and, whoops. Oh, hey, there she is. Audie's having a good time back there. Is to get the outdoor storage shed built somewhere nearby so we need to like run over to the other outdoor storage shed by cranston's house and then we'll be able to go ahead i wonder if audi does like having a garden i'm gonna have to think about that and these yellow hibiscus is it yellow hibiscus bushes no it's not these guys it's these tea olive bushes seem to keep their color pretty well even with the changing season so I'll keep these for now, because they still look pretty lively. Oh gosh, but we definitely need to prepare like Julian's special corner with some better bushes. There we go. Here you go, Julian. And I'll bring him another holly bush in a little bit here. Oh, so much better, you guys! I'm so happy about this! Yay! Hopefully we'll be prepared for snow. And I have been thinking about moving Prince Julian's house as well, so that we can have more room for all of these amazing golden roses that he likes to grow. Because he is Prince Julian, after all. All right, do I have any room? Absolutely no room left at the inn. Are there any convenient villagers located nearby to give a gift to? No, actually. Like, where the heck is everybody today? Oh, well, at least it let me, like, clean things up. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and sell all of these. Hibiscus bushes, I'm gonna keep that portable record player. Whoops, I'm definitely keeping- you can't have my mushrooms, boys! That's where I draw the line, okay? And I have a monarch butterfly I can go ahead and give to Cranston next time we see him. Now I'm too full up on presents, which is kind of funny. All right, thank you, boys. Phew! And we've done it, guys! I'm so excited! Tidying up the island so that Audie will be able to go ahead and have, like, an ice rink. Oh, that's so much better. And even though it's just one small section... Oh, here, we're gonna gather these things, too, because this is all meant more for, like, autumn. So I'm gonna pick up these, because I've been thinking we needed to move those. Aha! And Gardener Gal Siri needs to go ahead and water our rare plants. Thank you very much. And slowly but surely, we are transforming our island and figuring out how to make it into something that really makes us super happy. All right, let's put a whole bunch of these things away. Oh, I love that little Arfoid. All right, so red leaf pile, cardboard box. Pretty much.
much everything except that. Puppy plushie, Western, Western Star and Meal, I'll give away as a gift too. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Portable record player I want to put back out at some point. Oh, the compact kitchen! Yes! I've got to figure out more places to put that. And the kids' tent. And then the set of stockings is totally going inside of my house because Chips gave that to me for some Christmassy decorations. All right, last thing that we need to do today, and I'm still kind of shocked we haven't run into our villagers. Now I'm beginning to be slightly concerned. Like, where is everybody? Uh-oh. Guys? Here we go. The wooden storage shed. 30 wood, 30 hardwood, 30 softwood, and 10 iron nuggies. So let's grab these. All right, let's get something out. Do I have that many resources? I should, but I've been neglecting restoring what I've been taking out lately, so... Let's see. Oh, there's two fossils. We'll grab those two. And I actually want to replace these hedges in some of the places I had been putting holly down now that I know how good they look in winter. <gasps> oh my gosh! I actually don't! Oh man! <laughs> I don't have enough wood and hardwood and everything else. But that's okay. I've got my little outfit on. Alright, so let's see guys. We've got to frantically collect some wood and maybe while we're at it we can collect a little bit of, there we go, the fruit that's about you. And this will be okay. It'll be a great way to just check in on what the villagers and Wildberry are doing. Because I'm kind of concerned, like, where is everybody? Guys? All right, where are we now? Good on softwood, so we need hardwood and normal wood. All right. Ooh, and we just managed to complete some sort of something for our Nook Miles. Good, I've been spending those like an absolute bonkers person. Oh, water things! Oh my gosh, it is a garden gal day! Tend to the flowers! Noted. Oh no! Okay, that's it. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's it. I, I give up. I'm gonna have to take care of that like myself and then you guys will see where a new outdoor shed will be next time and we're gonna wrap up and just give a gift to diva because i haven't seen her today and like where are all my villagers are they just like oh guys everybody's taking naps i really i don't want to bother her because she's sleeping so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end it here but i'm gonna take care of that shed and i can't wait to share more progress on wildberry as we really revive the island and become better friends with all of the villagers next time so thank you guys so much for joining me if you guys could do please leave a like for our very snoozy snoozy villagers <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness look at that fish oh that's so funny and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing, but most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!